all right guys back with another one show you some uh show you some stuff that i did to it all right so this is my 2021 ktm 500 xcfw um, that i'm making street legal and for right now it's just going to be michigan street legal you don't need turn signals um, and i have not got my harness yet so as you could see I started putting everything back together because the other few things that I did, I wanted to I wanted to be able to test it and make sure that it actually worked. And it all works. And honestly, guys, if you have the XCFW and want to do this, it is super, super easy to install this stuff. Um, and some of it is more kind of just a theft thing um, because this does not have a key. So if any of you guys out there want a key, I will, uh, I'll kind of go over with you guys what I did real quick. And, you know, even if you guys are out just trail riding, to me, having a tail light, like if you're coming into a corner for whatever reason, or, you know, if you're just riding with a bunch of people, um, I think it's kind of cool to have a tail light out in the trails. Um, of course, I brake a lot with the back uh, brake, and it's only used... The brake light only comes on with the back brake because it's just a little, if you can kind of see it, it's right there. Just plugs in where the old banjo bolt goes. Um, just that little switch right there. Um, and yeah, it's just super easy to install all this stuff. So this video, I'm gonna just show you guys a little bit of what I did. Um, and if you guys want prices on stuff, uh, my next video, I might get all my stuff together sit down and uh just kind of show you guys how much everything i did was um and just kind of break it down and let you know where i got it from as well so if you guys want any of it you can go get it and if you want um kind of a video me showing you how uh i installed everything um if any of you guys want me to show you i'll do individual videos on any of it or all of it whatever you guys want doesn't matter to me uh, but okay, so here is, I'm going to fire this thing up real quick. And the key switch is right down here. I put it just right down there. Got to turn that key on. Man. Fires right up. And then on these bikes, headlight. To, it's a pull switch to turn the headlights on and off. And this is my high beam, low beam horn switch that I installed. Right there. And you can see right now, just this little bulb is on. My headlight, I can actually turn off with that switch. This light does not turn off. Um, and then back here, got the tail light. Okay, so I'll show show you first the tail light operational that's pretty damn bright too works good so that switch I hooked up down in there and then high beam low beam all right so my headlights are off there's low there's high I know you guys can't probably see that very well. It's not very dark and just in the garage. Um, so yeah, I don't have a horn hooked up yet. Um, so I gotta still get that. But also, just real quick guys, I wanna also go over the fact that when you hook all this stuff up, you do have to Keep the kill switch when you put this uh key in i was hoping that when you turn the key off it shut the bike off but it doesn't so and these bikes come with two switches the one switch was right over here and obviously if you have the bike you know this so um but yeah the kill switch is over here and the start switch is right there i'm gonna end up getting the two-in-one 
that are both over here, the kill and start, because I don't wanna have two stupid buttons. But that's, on the XCFW, that's how it's set up. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little walk around, and then the key, you know, it just makes it so, won't start. Can't start the bike without the key, which is what I wanted because I'm gonna ride this on the street and I don't want someone just to be able to walk up to it and start it. So that's why I put the key on it. So yeah, if you guys want uh, any other videos on what I did, kind of more step-by-step -step video, um, showing you guys how I installed all this stuff, just let me know. Um, and then I still got to get my tires on, but I decided I'm just getting a tire machine. It's 25 bucks a tire to get them installed. It's 110 bucks for a freaking tire machine. Just going to do it myself because this isn't my only bike. And I got a couple other bikes. I want to be able to put paddle tire on it, you know, street tires, supermoto tires, hopefully at some point. Um, but yeah. All right, guys, like, subscribe, um, shoot me any questions you got. Just uh, let me know. Let me know what you think of my build. And hop-ups are coming. Probably not for a little bit, but I am doing, I want to I wanna do the whole exhaust. And I'll go over that too later um, when I actually start doing some of that stuff. So, yeah, like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, have a good day.